Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. Hi, and welcome to another Cloud Practitioner Express lesson. And in this lesson, we're going to be introducing a very interesting and maybe a totally new concept for you called serverless computing or what we call AWS Lambda. The first model that we know, the self-managed or the self-provisioned. So in the self-managed or in the self-provisioned, this is where I start by deploying an EC2 instance. And this EC2 instance has an operating system. So as an administrator, I always need to make sure that this is patched to the latest patch in order not to have any vulnerabilities. And then I start by installing my application code. And then the application code is consuming from the resources of the EC2 instance itself, the memory and the CPU. So I need to make sure when designing or when choosing my EC2 instance, this is the proper EC2 instance because I will have my application code running from the resources of this EC2 instance. So let's explore this model. I need to provision this EC2 instance at the beginning. I need to make sure that the operating system is patched. Maybe I need to pay attention to the licenses. And if this is running Windows, for example, I need to install uh, licenses as well as I need to make sure I have the enough resources for my application code to run. And then what about the payment model? If you remember, how do I pay for my EC2 instances? As long as the EC2 instance is up and running, I pay for it, right? That's the on-demand model. But if I'm having very low hit number of customers coming on this EC2 instance, I still pay the same amount. Now let's go and explore the second model, which is the serverless computing. In the serverless computing, and from the name here, serverless, serverless means you don't need to provision any servers. All what you need to do, just upload your application code and specify what is the trigger so that AWS will start executing this code. And the beauty about serverless computing is you don't need to pay attention or you don't need to worry about the resources. So very simply, once the code or once the trigger happens, AWS will start executing the code and AWS will be the one responsible to assign the needed resources for your code to run on the spot. So serverless computing does not mean I don't have servers. Serverless computing, very simply, it means you don't need to provision any server from the beginning. And here, how do I pay? I pay once my code is being executed and you're going to see from the second slide, we're going to pay per milliseconds. So let's see the characteristics of the Lambda function. So first of all, AWS Lambda or serverless compute, I'm running the code without provisioning and without managing any infrastructure like my EC2 instance, for example. And then I save cost by paying only for the compute time. And how do I pay per millisecond? If you remember, EC2 instances I used to pay per second. Here on my Lambda function, I pay per millisecond. And then finally, and this is a good news that we have something called free tier. We're going to see it later on in the later section in details, but the Lambda function is part of the free tier. And guess what? You can have up to 1 million Lambda requests for free every month. You can get, and that's very good, of course, if you're trying and if you want to test uh, Lambda, for example, you can test Lambda completely for free because you can utilize the 1 million Lambda request part of the free tier of AWS if you want to test Lambda. And with this, we come to the end of this lesson. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the second lesson.